Hello, Tori Ann Perky here. From my homeschool to your homeschool, today I want to talk about what you can say to yourself in the middle of a really hard homeschool day. I don't know about you, but there are days where everything just feels like it's crashing in. The kids aren't listening. I'm having a bad day. The phone's ringing off the hook. Kids are coming to the door. Additional kids are coming to the door. You know, I'm hearing about stuff that's not working and everybody's grumpy and fighting. And whew, some days are just hard. And if you're going to successfully homeschool, learning how to get through the hard days to the good days is definitely worth the effort. But you gotta figure out how to get through the good days. Now, I've made another video on how to actually have a good day. And so if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check down below. I'm gonna put a link to that video as well. But today I wanna to talk about what to say to yourself in the middle of a hard homeschool day. I actually have five different things, five different types of things you can say to yourself to just get you through the day, put yourself in bed so you can get up the next day. Okay, so the first one, the first thing that you can say to yourself is, this is simple, this is easy, this is fun. Now, this is all about training your brain to look at whatever is currently happening in a different light. Don't get me wrong, there are days where it doesn't feel simple, easy, or fun, but if I say it to myself enough, Sometimes my brain shifts and I wait, okay, okay, I can figure this out. So this is almost like a, like a Jedi mind trick that you're going to play with your brain to help you figure out how to do this. And so this is simple, this is easy, this is fun, something to just perk yourself up in the middle of the day. Okay, number two, what's the second thing you can say to yourself? I need a timeout. Sometimes it is okay for you as the mom to pull yourself out of the situation go to your closet, and just take a deep breath. I have spent many a homeschool day with part of the day in my closet. Now, of course, you don't abandon your children. You either put them in front of something that they can watch or you put the older one in front of the younger ones, whatever you can do. Maybe you even just put everybody in a crib or a bed and you say, we're taking a timeout, and you go put yourself in a timeout. You take the time to figure out how you can reset and recharge. Sometimes when the days are really hard, that's what you need to do. You need to take just a minute to pull yourself out of the situation, get some perspective, let the emotions fall, you know, let the emotions kind of drain out of you just a little bit so you can come back into it with a fresh pair of eyes and possibly a slightly happier heart. Okay, so the third thing. What's the third thing you can say? What do we really need right now? What does my child need? right now and not what do they need in the moment like they need uh they they maybe need to get their math done no i'm talking about what do they really need do they need a hug do they need some food do they need a nap i don't know what your kid needs but often when things are really falling apart it's because the needs aren't being met so stepping back and saying what do they really need and maybe adjusting your plan for the day because you recognize that what your kid really needs is to sit on the couch and snuggle with you and feel better about themselves. Or maybe they need a conversation. Or maybe they just need a walk around the block. Whatever it is will help you have, uh, just help you reset. So that's the third thing. Fourth, remember that you're on a journey. Take the long view. Sometimes we're having a really hard day because we're so worried and afraid that we're not getting everything done. And we forget that it's really easy to underestimate how much you can accomplish in 10 years and overestimate how much you can accomplish in a day. Less is more with homeschooling. So you might not get a whole lot done on a single day, but if you're showing up every day over the course of your child's education, you're going to accomplish a lot. So the next thing you can say to yourself is, I'm taking the long view. I'm looking down the road. I'm just going to do one little piece today. We don't have to do it all today. Finally, and this is what I say to myself when things really just hit the fan and everything else, there just doesn't seem to be any other answer, this too shall pass. Sometimes we don't change things. Sometimes we gracefully make it through things. And sometimes we don't make it through gracefully, we just make it through, right? This too shall pass. When I remember that nothing is permanent, nothing lasts forever, and I always have tomorrow, it helps me get through the end 
of a really hard homeschool day. Now, if you are new to homeschooling or you are struggling, be sure to check out my free homeschool help center. It's down below, full of different activities, resources, helps to help you have a good homeschool, things like this, as well as other things. In there specifically, there are additional declarations, phrases that you can say to yourself to help you pump yourself up so you can have a good homeschool day. Be sure to check it out. That's down below. My name's Tori M. Perky, and I make these videos every week so that you can be a successful and confident homeschool mom.